Scientists from the Carnegie Museum and the Smithsonian have presented a new dinosaur. I say presented and not discovered because I'll tell you later. A new dinosaur they're calling scientifically the chicken from hell. That's a very scientific term <laughs> for the Anzu Wailii, uh, a bird-like demonic raptor that they, uh, they found three partial skeletons for, almost making up one full one uh, in Hell's Creek Rock Formation in North and South Dakota. Yeah, so like imagine the most terrifying raptor that we have today, the cassowary, mm -hmm. and then make it 500 pounds and 11 and a half feet tall, and uh, that's the chicken from hell. And give it a headdress. Yes. So it's extra scary. Um, so this, this is a, a special dinosaur, also because it doesn't need a plunger on its butt, but to be a chicken that walks like a dinosaur. I think this is also an interesting discovery because um, they've found three partial skeletons mm -hmm. of it so far. Which um, means there were at least three of them. Exactly. Well, there were probably uh, much, much more than three. So this was discovered a while back. Uh, it's, it's like many new dinosaurs. It was discovered years ago, but it took a while for the researchers to write all their findings up in a journal. And we have that here today. I know that there have been like a lot of uh, progressive and interesting new discoveries in the dinosaur world within the last 10, 20 years. Things look a lot different than they did in Jurassic Park. I know it's factually accurate. I'm a little disappointed in how dinosaurs look these days. Why? When I was a kid, dinosaurs looked so intimidating and like these giant scaly reptiles. And now they all have colorful feathers on their heads and well, they're like running around more. like chickens. Two, two counterpoints. One, we're learning more. Two, have you never been chased by a goose? That is terrifying. I have been chased by a goose, but I'll tell you what, it wasn't nearly as frightening as any scene in Jurassic Park where there were no feathers at all. I don't know. I think it. I think giving them intimidating headdresses makes them pretty scary. It's it's ridiculous and scary, like being chased by a clown. As a kid who was obsessed with dinosaurs, yeah. I feel disenchanted. I feel as though everything I knew about dinosaurs are wrong, and they're not cool anymore. Seriously, though, look at a cassowary because those things are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> and if that's what a dinosaur looked like, it's still pretty badass. And they're still around. Cassowaries yeah, are absolutely. things that can still absolutely. get all up in my face. Yeah. Does it make you feel better to know that this Anzu Wailii is the largest oviraptosaur found in North America? What? Yes, yeah. that changes everything. It does. The other thing that I think is interesting <laughs> that also makes these kind of badasses is that two, two of the three skeletons that they found show um, pathology. So they had uh, injuries or uh, certain things like that that indicate that they were very aggressive and got into a lot of fights with other dinosaurs. Yeah, but you can't tell whether or not they won the fights. They could have been the nerds of the dinosaur kingdom. That's true. They always or got stuffed in their lockers. They could have done the world's first cockfight. I mean, how are you not excited by that? Yeah, now I'm thinking about like cockfights where the roosters are like six feet tall. That could be a lot more impressive. They yeah. were five feet tall. But they did weigh 440 pounds at least. That's what scientists are saying. So I think this is interesting. And I, I like seeing the artist depictions of how weird and slightly less scary, but also more scary these dinosaurs look. What do you think of the chicken from hell? Let us know what you think below. And please be sure to subscribe.